Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be just some updates. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of what we've done around the house and I'm gonna take you along with me as I just organize and set things up because we are still very much, as you can tell, in the middle of unpacking and making our new house a home. If you have missed our empty house tour, it is up two videos ago, I believe, so go check that out. I am in the basement right now. This is going to be my office one day, but this week is really crazy and busy. We have family staying with us, different sets. Andrew's parents are staying with us for a few days, and then Andrew's sister and brother-in-law are going to be here. So um, it's a really busy week. So Andrew was out of town over the weekend, and he was picking up his parents from where they were living out of state and they are actually moving here in town with us. So that's super exciting. Andrew was out of town and while he was gone, we had a leak in the basement. I'll show you that in just a second. It was a whole thing. I didn't know what to do. I've never dealt with anything like this before. Honestly, Andrew hasn't either. We finally got the plumber out today and it turns out that it was just a faulty, kitchen faucet. So we went to Lowe's today, picked up a new one, and we are gonna install that. We're so grateful that it wasn't anything worse than that. But anyways, let me show you the basement where all of the action was discovered. Okay, so this is the storage room from the basement. Here's the basement. Um, and here's like the storage room. So I came in here just to make sure that this door was locked one night before I went to bed. And from the ceiling, that pipe right there, it was just pouring down water. And so there was like this big puddle of water right here. I got that bucket and called Andrew and we really couldn't figure out what to do over the phone. So I just waited for him to come home. Then he came home and he pulled up one of the pieces of flooring and discovered that there was water that had gone under this wall all in here. And so he had to pull up all of this flooring to let it dry out. Fortunately though, this stuff is really cool. It's rubber on the bottom. Oh, it's a little wet under there too. I'll have to let him know about that. But yeah, it's rubber on the bottom. So he was just able to pull it up, let the concrete air dry. We have some box fans in here and in here to let everything kind of dry out. But there's all these pieces everywhere. It's gonna be like, a fun little puzzle putting all of this back together so anyways that's the fun little adventure that happened over the weekend this is the first thing that we've had to deal with as homeowners like an issue going on with the house it's kind of weird that it was like a week after we moved in but oh well <laughs> it is what it is and um fortunately it wasn't worse I just made it straight. Well, it, no, I promise you, babe. I promise you. By the time I got to it, it was already on that side. So I just made it straight. Let me loosen it and we're gonna put it on this side. Make sure this sprayer works. Try it. Woohoo! Good job. How's that? Good. You like it? Good job. Around. All right. <laughs> so this is the brand of faucet that we ended up going with. We got it from Lowe's. It's the Delta brand. And here's some more information on it. But I really like the look of it. It's just really simple. Plums. Those are pears. No, they're plums. No, they're, they're pears. No, they're plums. But yeah, I really liked just the sleek, simple look of it. And then this was our old faucet. So it's actually pretty similar to the one that we just got, 
but this is like that chrome finish and this is um, like water spot resistant finish, which I really like, so. So tonight for dinner, we are going to be making a meal using Green Chef, and Green Chef is actually owned by HelloFresh, and you guys have seen me use HelloFresh for dinner a lot. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle. Meal plans include paleo, which is our personal family favorite, keto, balanced living, and plant-powered. One of the reasons that I'm really excited to be using Green Chef for dinner tonight is because we are obviously in the middle of a big move and our lives are just busy and crazy and chaotic. On top of that, we have two little kids who just add to the fun of moving. We have been eating out a lot and I don't exactly love that, but all of our stuff was packed away and it was just convenient to do it that way. But I'm craving some home-cooked, wholesome food for me and my family as well. All of the recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos. And another one of my favorite things is that I don't have to go to the grocery store, I don't have to meal plan, prep anything, everything comes delivered straight to my door, and that is just music to my ears. In a second, I'm gonna show you what our Green Chef box looks like, and I'm also gonna show you one of the delicious meals that we're gonna be cooking tonight for dinner. But I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a discount code for you guys. You can use the code SIMPLYALLY80 for $80 off of your first month of Green Chef, plus free shipping. And you can go to greenchef.us slash SIMPLYALLY80 to redeem, as well as for more information. All right, let's check out what we got in our Green Chef box. Here are the three meals that they sent us this week. We have grilled chicken with herb tahini sauce, barramundi with mango salsa, and pork tenderloin with balsamic fig sauce. Grilled chicken with herb tahini, pork tenderloin with balsamic fig sauce, and then this one is the barramundi with mango salsa. And here is the meat. So we have the barramundi, which is the fish, and then our pork tenderloin, and then here is the chicken. So tonight, I think we're gonna have the grilled chicken with herb tahini sauce, and then here on the back of this recipe card is the step-by-step -step instructions along with pictures, so this is super easy to follow. I placed an Amazon order and then I've been to Target and I've been to Walmart and so I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've gotten for the house so far. Okay, so the first thing that I got is a 12 pack of microfiber cloths and these are pink and I think they're so pretty. I'm going to take the old microfiber cloths that I have been using for years and make a bin of like garage towels. So those will go there and now I have all 
matching microfiber cloths to clean and I'm really excited to have them all matching. And then I needed some new dish towels and I just got a six pack from Amazon. I got this dark gray color because dishcloths tend to get dingy really fast. So I just got a six pack. I don't know the quality of these or anything. I'm still on the hunt though for some good kitchen towels that I like. And that's the struggle is I don't want like, I don't really, I don't want them to be tacky looking. I want them to be cute. So I'm still on the hunt for those. And then this thing is something I'm really excited about. This is a tea bag organizer. And I don't have a ton of tea, but I do really like my tea at night before I go to bed. So, but what I don't like is having all kinds of different boxes. So I thought that this was really cute, a really cute way to organize my tea. It also comes in all kinds of different sizes and shapes. So I got that from Amazon. And now these are different things from Walmart and Target. So first I'll show you this. This was actually something that I had gotten from Amazon originally. And when I went to put them in my drawers in the kitchen, it they ended up being way too short. I had no idea that my kitchen drawers were as big as they are. Oh, sorry, that's upside down. So anyways, these are drawer dividers and I'm gonna put them in my drawers that I'm gonna put like my kitchen utensils in. So I'll show you guys how I end up using them. But these are the 22 inch. So if you're if you're interested in these at all, just keep in mind that they come in two different sizes. There's like a 17 inch and then the 22 inch, and these are the 22 inch. But they also, they're expandable, so they'll fit any drawers up to 22 inches. And anyways, I got these at Walmart, and I was really excited to find them there. This is also from Walmart. This is a kitchen wrap organizer. So we usually have these filling out all over the place. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this, but I bought it from Walmart, and if I don't end up using it, I'll just return it, but I thought it was kind of cool. This is from Target. This is a removable adhesive drawer or under the cabinet liner, and I'm gonna put this under our kitchen sink once it is all aired out and no longer damp, but underneath our kitchen sink, it was already looking pretty rough, but now that it's got some water damage, um, it's even worse looking, so I'm gonna put this under there and then I will organize under my kitchen sink and I will of course share all of that with you guys. But I thought this was really cute and it comes in all kinds of different patterns. Actually, this is not from Target, this is from Walmart. And then from Target, I picked up a couple of these shower liners. You guys, I just get the cheap ones. These are gonna go in bathrooms that are not used very often anyway, so these will last us forever. Um, but let me know in the comments if you guys are the cheap shower liner type people or the reusable ones. And then we have guests staying with us this week, like I said, and they're gonna be staying on air mattresses and I didn't have any twin sheets for those air mattresses. So I got two of these from Target. They're the Threshold brand, 400 count. They are my absolute favorite sheets ever. We have them on our master bed currently. So I got some of these and I really liked the, um, the colors and the pattern on it really neutral, which is totally my jam. So I got two of those. And then we also needed some guest pillows. I threw out all the other ones that we had because they we'd had them for years and years. And so I just got two more to replace them. They're brand new, fresh. And then this is random, but I'll show you anyways. I picked up another pack of the Magic Erasers. I use these in our bathtubs and in our showers. And we have a glass shower. As you can see, there's water spots and magic erasers do really well not only on the glass but also on the bottoms like the floors of the shower and the bathtub and things like that and then in the glass shower this is a squeegee and it's the simple human brand i got it from target i liked the look of it but also it comes with this suction cup thing so that you can and then you just put it on just like that when you're not using it so I got one of those. And then here's two more kind of random things, but I wanted to show you because I'm obsessed with them right now. These are t-shirt dresses from Walmart. They're the Time and True brand and they are only $10 each. So I already had a black one and I loved it so much that I got two more today from Walmart. I got a gray one and then this green. This green is like a color that I am always drawn to. So they're so perfect for summer, just to throw them on. I like them because they're not too fitted. They're the perfect length and you cannot beat the price. 
And another thing, I got some t-shirt dresses from Target and the material was really thin on those. And so I am really happy with the quality and the thickness of this material. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I'm sure there's other things that I got that I just forgot to pull back out and show you guys. But now I'm gonna go into my kitchen and I'm gonna set up a few things and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Travel the world all 